Hello, I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com. This is a chart for the full moon, 24th of October, set for London at 1745 British summertime. And it is truly electrifying. The moon, always when the full moon, we always get it opposite the sun. The sun is in Scorpio, just, oh, just a day into Scorpio. And here's the moon in Taurus. Now, when the moon is in Taurus, as it happens every year, every, every month, actually, but this is the full moon, basically Taurus is where the moon is exalted. It gives of its best. It can lift you up. It has real power. And the moon in Taurus is governed by Venus, the planet of love, of relationship. And Taurus is all about comfort, about the good things in life, pleasure, food, drink, good company, the senses, you know, the flowers. It's all absolutely gorgeous. Touch, taste, smell, all these things. However, it's right next to Uranus. Uranus is the planet of revolution, of dramatic sudden change, which is unpredictable. Just like a, an electric storm and we get the lightning and the shock that that brings. So there could be some shock or, on the positive, something to be healed around that. Now notice Venus. Venus is opposite. Venus is in Scorpio at the moment, retrograde, and it's going to join the sun on Friday the 26th. I've done a whole video on this. And you're welcome to watch it. Please do. I give some insights and a healing process at the end. We have a very strong, two very strong patterns at this particular full moon. We have this square. And the square is involving the fixed signs of the zodiac. Squares are tension. They are challenging. But they also create action. They're not comfortable, laid back, oh, isn't life wonderful? No, we're being asked to shift and do something new. And this is involving the south node and the north node of the moon. The south node in Aquarius is governed by Uranus. The north node of the moon is actually governed by the sun. So we have a real contrast of opposites here. And... Whenever we have an opposition, a tension, we are called to bring them, I say we, astrologers, we, we coach people to bring two things together. So something about this moon that can get very fixed and stubborn in Taurus needs to shift something. And I'd be thinking that's something about the mind. You know, something about some mental construct, because Uranus go, does govern Aquarius after all, to do with a fixed mental sign. The possibilities, once we look deeper into this particular chart, you can see this beautiful blue triangle. This is a flow of energy. Notice it's also connected to that north node in Leo. But it is Jupiter along with Mercury and Chiron. Now Chiron, the wounded healer, was in Pisces throughout the 60s and it's now it moved into Aries and it's now retrograde going back into Pisces. Whenever a planet goes back into a sign it's clearing up unfinished business and Jupiter is in a very good relationship to this and Chiron in Pisces, Pisces traditionally is governed by Jupiter and notice Mercury is moving to join Jupiter. That's another very auspicious connection of hope, faith for the future. That's always Jupiter. And Mercury is the ability to communicate that, to speak the truth. Mars. Mars is also in Aquarius, has been for a long time. It's been retrograde this year. And it's been caught up with issues around the South Node. Finally, it's moving away. However, it's always however, Mercury, Mars rather, in Aquarius is a fixed sign. And it is squaring that Mars, Jupiter. And it's, be, it's moving towards that action, demonstration of people marching, 
Does that sound familiar? In London last weekend, we had a huge number of people uh, supporting you know, the people's vote about Brexit. You know, the estimate, 700,000 people, you know, at least over half, you know, huge numbers of people. And that is the power of Aquarius. Aquarius is about humanity. It is about the people. And the people with Mars are saying, we are angry. We are demonstrating. We are acting. We're taking action. And that's something that I personally go along with, very much so. Also, we have Saturn. Saturn, often known as the bad guy in astrology, but Saturn can bring discipline, something that's enduring, that's built to last, and it is in its own sign. It's called domicile. Any planet in its own sign is very happy. It's the ability to fight. It can manifest intentions. Notice that word, manifest. Saturn, notice, in an Earth sign, is also trining the Moon and Uranus, both in Earth signs. So any idea or new concept that might be coming towards you, if you think you have a vague idea, you can, at this full Moon, bring that out into fruition. Anything that we set in motion at a new moon, that was October the 9th, full moons are exactly that. They are, you know, it's fulfillment. It's, you know, now we can see the result, just like we can see the full moon in the sky and how beautiful that sight is. Also, Saturn, in Earth sign, is also very compatible with water signs. So notice Venus, Sun, create that dotted red, uh, blue lines, shall we say. So that's also very, very, very good. I always want to look at the positive because challenges are for action. That's the red, that's the, the squares, the oppositions. But we also want to see the, the flow of energy that we can utilise as astrologers and coach our clients in that regard. Uranus in the tarot. Uranus in the tarot is connected to the fool, you know, the fool. However, it's also got that quality of magic around it, which is the magus or the magician. Both are, are like, ah, oh, can, we, can we use that awakening energy? And that's why my image that I've chosen for this full moon has got that, that electricity energy in it because it's, you know, it's a... The, the vibration of light when it moves is exciting. So I want you to encourage you to feel excitement at this full moon, of potential, of something new and very creative that can be coming into your life until, of course, we reach the next new moon in two weeks' time. Very significant, November the 7th, the day after the US primaries. Let's watch this space. Things are hotting up. Have a wonderful full moon. It's always a lovely time to go out and see that full moon. And you'll see it, of course, you know, the day before, day after. People often think, oh, it's the full moon tonight. Well, it's not quite there as I'm speaking on Tuesday. Look at, please look at my YouTube video. Also, I have announced a new masterclass for November the 1st in honour of Venus, because Venus is about to change from evening star to morning star. Venus is currently, because it's close to the sun, invisible. You can't see it. But come November 1st, this whole new cycle will begin. Thank you for watching. I'm Pam Carruthers of HealingStars.com.